In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can block websites on your Windows computer. So first of all, you need to head over to this website. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can register. So to register, you just click on this and then you click on sign up and you fill out whatever it is you need to fill out. I already have an account, so I'm going to click login. So after you register and you log in, you're going to see this page. So you want to scroll down first so you can install the software on your computer. So you click here to install. Make sure this is selected because we are working on Windows. So you click Windows and then you click here to download the software. So it's going to download down here. It's just 8 megabytes. Okay, it's done. So just right click on this and then click show in folder. And this is it here. So I'm going to double click on it to start the installation process. I'll click run. So just keep clicking yes because I know there's a part that didn't show. So when you get to this part, just click next. I mean, you can read this if you want, then click I agree. Click install and then just wait for it to get done installing. The first time I did this, I had to install some, I think, network profiles. I can't really remember. So it didn't show up this time. But if yours does, just click yes or just confirm. Just give it the right permissions and then click continue so after that you click finish all right so if you guys saw my video where i showed you guys how to use simple wall to block access to the internet well it is also blocking next dns so you have to give it access to your internet by selecting it from here you select these two options and when you come up here you see them and then you can close this but if you guys don't have simple wall you don't have to do that all right, so next you double click on next DNS and this should show up. So you're going to have to input the configuration ID. So what I will do now is just head back to Chrome and uh, this is the configuration ID. So I'll copy it. Yours will be different. And then I'll paste it here. And I'll click on save. And then I'll come back here and right click on this and make sure this is enabled. So it is saying disabled. So that means it is currently enabled. All right, so now I head back to the website. I can close this and then I'll start blocking all the websites that I want to. As you can see over here, it says all good. This device is using next DNS. So that means my computer is successfully connected to the website. Now, before I start blocking websites, I'm going to head over to my own website. All right, so as you can see, this is my website. And this is an article about next DNS. I just clicked on it and as you can see, it is loading. Everything is coming up fine so what i'll do now is i'll block my website so i can come here then i'll click on deny list i'll click add a domain and then i'll impute my website address and then i'll tap enter on the keyboard so if you have other websites you wish to block you can add them here tap enter and if you ever want to remove a website you click here or you just temporarily deactivate it by clicking on this all right, so now that I've blocked the website, if I go back and I click on this, you see it doesn't work. I can head over to other websites, so let's try google.com. As you can see, Google works, but this one doesn't work. If you remember, I also blocked Yahoo, so if I try to go over to yahoo.com, it doesn't work. But uh, if I try bing.com, well, it should work. As you can see, it works. So yeah, that is how it works. You can block websites on your PC just by adding them here and then whenever you want to stop blocking them you click here or you remove them completely from the list and they should be unblocked now if it doesn't work for you just give it like five minutes or you restart your internet connection so if you are connected to a wi-fi network then you just disconnect and reconnect like this and uh, like this so yeah now as you can see i have stopped blocking my website so if i head back to it and the refresh yeah everything should work again